Hey good people, Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video we are, look, we are looking at the power rules with negative exponents. Uh, so in this first problem we have 2x to the fourth power over y to the negative third all raised to the negative fifth. So the first thing I'm going to do is to simplify the inside as much as possible and I want to, uh, if I have like variables, I want to get those combined either use the quotient or using the quotient or the power uh, product rule. If I have negative exponents in there, I want to make them positive. That's, I do that before I do anything on the outside. So I'm going to rewrite this, and the first thing I'm going to do is to make that y to the negative third positive by moving it to my numerator, which means I don't have anything else left in my denominator right now. So it gives me 2 times x to the 4th times y to the 3rd, all raised to the negative 5th power. Okay, I've finished simplifying the inside, so now I want to rewrite this to where that uh, exponent on the outside is positive. And remember to do that, you just take the reciprocal of the inside. So everything is in the numerator, so in this case, everything will go down to my denominator. And since I did not have anything else in my numerator, I'm going to put a 1 up there. Alrighty, and the next step is to raise everything to the 5th power. So I'm going to come down here and raise everything, everything in, in that uh, fraction to the 5th power. So 1 to the 5th power. And then each one of those factors in my denominator. And then the final step will be to simplify. So 1 to the 5th power is 1. 2 to the 5th power, 2 times itself, 5 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It's 32. x to the 4th raised to the 5th power, power to a power rule. Remember, we multiply those exponents to simplify. And then watch the third raised to the fifth. Again, power to the power rule. We multiply those exponents to simplify. That will be our final answer. So 1 over 32 times x to the 20th times y to the 15th. Alrighty, let's look at another one. All right, so this one, we have negative 4 times x to the third times y squared, all raised to the third power. Okay, so again, any base inside of parentheses that has a negative exponent, I want to move it to the opposite place to make it have a positive exponent. So the x to the negative third would move to my denominator. Everything else would stay in the numerator. Negative 4. Now that's an integer. It does not have a negative exponent. y squared in the numerator. The x moves down to my denominator to make that exponent positive. All right. So I've simplified the inside as much as I can. Uh, the exponent on the outside is already positive, so I don't have to flip anything this time. I just need to go ahead and distribute that exponent to the factors in the numerator and that x to the third in my denominator. Okay, so after I distribute that exponent, then I need to simplify. 
So negative 4 to the third, negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. That's three negatives, an odd amount of negatives. So negative 64. Y squared raised to the third power to a power, multiply. So y to the sixth, and then x to the third raised to the third. Again, a power raised to another power, multiply. So we end up with negative 64, y to the sixth, all over x to the ninth. All righty, I hope you found this to be helpful. Thank you and see you on the next one.